Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, LA, FILSAT, and all those things. Now today we're going to talk about a new buy request video. Why is it buy request? Because these are questions that you've been my viewers, the team, that you want to solve ko, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to solve ito mga tanong to as best as I could and explain kung paano siya makukuha para pag na-encounter niyo yung similar questions sa inyong exam ay alam niyo kung ano yung gagawin. So first, I want to thank those na nagpadala ng mga questions na ito kasi without you guys, hindi mo bubuo yung video. And if you want to send a question of your own, you can comment down below or reach out to me directly by going to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. Alright? And if you want to uh, know kung mayroong mga bagong video lessons like this, I, I post a new one every week. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to know as soon as a new video is ready to watch para wala kayong mamiss. Alright? So I'm going to switch over to my PC para mapakita ko sa inyo. I'll see you in a bit. Alright? So this is a new buy request video. We're going to talk about work and pipe problems na pinadala ninyo. Uh, these are a little more complicated than what I usually do on my page and a little more complicated than what you could expect siguro sa civil service exam but I'm going to explain the, uh, these problems as much as I could and as clearly as I could so in case you encounter any problem like this or maybe some problems that are a little, a little more easier you can handle that with no problem at all, alright? First question was sent in by Cyril May Rojas Perez Sabi niya, a faucet filled with 315 ga gallon tank in 9 hours uh, so, yung faucet, pag biyoksan mo siya, napupuno niya yung tank, ang laman niya 315 gallons in 9 hours. Later, the tank suffered a crack at the bottom and started leaking at the rate of 6 gallons per hour. How long will it take the faucet to refill the emptied tank? Now, there are just a few things that I need to talk to you about this question. No, Cyril, the first thing is that I hope you get uh, a, a, a better reviewer if you got this from a reviewer that you bought. I'm, I'm really sorry about that kasi... Actually, nirepair ko yung problem, maraming mga typo at saka maling grammar. And uh, actually, kulang yung question. Uh, now, in order for us to solve this, I'm going to make a few assumptions, okay? The first assumption is that nung nagkaroon ng crack sa bottom and nag-start siya mag-leak, the first assumption is that na-empty yung tank. We're starting out with an empty tank. Hindi kasi siya sinabi sa problem. So, again, ina-assume ko na lang na naubos yung laman ng tank. The first, the second thing is, etong how long will it take the faucet to refill the empty tank? Ang second assumption ko is that the crack wasn't repaired. Um, the reason why this is an assumption is kasi nga, hindi naman natin alam kung ano nangyari. And if this were a proper question, this should be indicated. Kaya lang, wala rin options to sa binigay na question sa akin. So, hindi natin mag-gauge just using the options kung ano yung tamang sagot. So, again, assumption natin to. Una, Nung napuno yung tank, tapos nagkaroon ng crack, naubos yung laman ng tank. We're, we're starting, uh, st uh, starting out with an empty tank. And the second uh, assumption is that the crack wasn't repaired. So, lumibusan yung depo, dumadalo yung tubig papasok, pero dumadalo din yung tubig from the crack palabas. Okay? And there are a few things that I need to discuss about this problem. Kasi, number one, yung ating uh, discussion on pipes and tanks. And if you haven't seen that yet, click right here dito sa taas so you can catch up. Kasi, uh, na-discuss ko na yung kung paano siya isolve, yung formula, and what to do. Um, we're still going to use the formula, but there are a few uh, steps that we have to take first, okay? Kasi bakit? Kasi ang formula niya is, di ba, uh, 1 over, and then you have your A, which is the number of hours that a uh, drain, uh, uh, that uh, faucet fills, yung number that it takes to fill up the tank, no faucet, and then you have plus if meron siyang isa pang faucet, minus if you have a drain, and then you have 1 over B, yung ganyang classing format, and then you have X, yung X natin is the number of hours na bukas sila pareho, and then you have 1 kung isa lang yung tank. Now, this formula right here will not work with the information na nandito ngayon. Bakit? Kasi yung A is the number of hours it takes. In this case, pwede. Okay? Dun sa faucet, dun sa tank, pwede. Now, let me just draw it a little, uh, little bit right here para just for you to see it. Ang faucet is papasok. So, pagpapasok, that is positive. Yung crack, dahil butas, palabas siya. Okay? Palabas yung tubig, so that is a negative. Okay? Yung positive, okay ka na, kasi yung 9 hours yung binigay. Kaya lang, dito sa pangalawa, dun sa, dun, sa, dun sa crack, ang sabi lang, ang rate ay 6 gallons per hour. Pero hindi sinabi kung ilan yung number of hours. Kasi, ang ilalagay lang natin dito sa A at sa B ay yung number of hours that it takes for the, the tank to be filled by the faucet or the tank to be drained by the crack. So, hindi natin pwede ilagay yung 6. Okay? 
isasolve muna natin kung ilang oras siya uh, mauubos sa iyong, uh, doon sa 315 gallon tank, gano'ng katagal niya siya may empty. So, the first thing that we have to do is solve for that. So, 315 gallons, okay, i-divide natin siya sa kung ilan yung uh, rate na mauubos niya. Now, bakit natin ginawa ito? This is actually, uh, if you think about it, kind of a speed distance time problem, okay? Just using using yung uh, gallons instead of distance, okay? So, in order for us to get the hours, okay, from gallons uh, per hour, okay, kailangan natin i-check uh, i ito, i-divide ito with another gallon, okay? Para ma-cancel siya, no? para matira yung gallon. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole other thing. But basically, ang big sabihin lang niyan is, yung 315, okay, kung bawat isang oras, nagbabawas ka ng 6 gallons. Ilang oras? So, i-divide mo na lang siya, okay? So, you have 5, this is 30, 15, that is going to give you 2, tapos meron ka pang remainder na 3, okay, magiging 0.5. Okay, that way kasi magiging 30 to 30x. This is just long division, ha? Dinivide ko lang siya. So, 52.5. Ibig sabihin nun, 52.5 hours, okay, kailangan uh, na nandun yung crack para yung puno na, na tank ay ma-drain niya completely. Okay? Now, bakit ito magiging different uh, dun sa kanina? Kasi again, yung kanina is rate. Ang hinahanap natin is the number of hours. So, ang ating formula is also going to be different. Okay? Kasi number of hours ang hinahanap. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang formula natin becomes 1 over and then 9, which is the 9 hours ng drain. Positive ito. Kasi nga, again, papasok yung tubig. So, positive. Tapos, minus ito. Yung rate nito. Bakit siya minus? Kasi, okay? Kaya siya minus kasi binabawasan niya yung tubig. Okay? Hindi ka nagdadagdag. So, minus. And then, you have 1 over and then 52.5. Bakit? Kasi ang crack functions as a drain. Kasi nagbabawas siya ng tubig. Kaya ganyan yung formula natin. Now, dito na papasok yung kung meron kayong struggle regarding fractions. And if you still struggle with fractions, I really suggest that you watch the video series and practice on that. Kasi again, if you don't know how to deal with fractions, babalik at babalik siya sa mga word problems sa inyo. Okay? Now, what you can do would be uh, you get uh, the LCD of this. Actually, this doesn't work dapat kasi 52.5. Uh, hindi dapat nagiging fraction yung decimal. So, what you can do if you want to be more comfortable is 1 over 9 minus 1 minus 2 over and then you have 52.5 times 2 para lang maging mawala yung decimal point uh, and then you have 105. Okay? Kasi 105 is 52 times 2. You multiply lang natin siya times 2 sa taas times 2 sa baba para hindi lang siya decimal. Okay? And then you can use you, this to find the um, the LCD. Okay? So, 9 and 105. Ngayon, uh, when it comes to finding the least common multiple or, or multiple or least common denominator, you can uh, do it the manual way, as in, nilista nyo yung factors and everything like that. Uh, ako, personally, I would just prefer na i-multiply na lang natin straight ahead. Okay? Kasi, masyado pang tedious yun. Um, Ang una kong check is if you want 05 ba, pwede mo i-divide sa 9. Eh, since it doesn't work out, kasi magka ang, ito ay magiging 10 remainder 15 or 11 remainder 6, hindi siya nag-work out, mumultiply ko na lang. So, 9 times 105 is 945. Tapos, 945 divided by 9 is 105. Times 1, that is 105. Minus, and then 105. So, 945 divided by 105, that is going to give you 9 times 2. That is 18. Now, kung naguluhan ka sa ginawa kong yun, again, go ahead and watch my video on fractions kasi you have to learn this pagdating sa subtracting ng fractions muna. Okay? To get the concept. So, equals 1. That is still the formula. Okay? So, i-solve lang natin ito. So, 105 minus 18. So, um, i-minus 8 muna natin. Uh, that's how I do it mentally, no? So, 105 minus 8 is 97. Tapos, minus another 10, that is 87. So, 87 over 945 is equal to 1. To get yung uh, x natin, kasi yung x natin, di ba, carried over dyan. Okay? Nandyan lang naman yung x eh. Hindi ko lang naisulat kanina, no? 
ang uh, lalabas kasi dito 87 over 945 and i-multiply mo siya sa x o ididikit mo lang x diyan para maiwan yung x sa isang side i-multiply natin siya sa kabaliktaran nito sa reciprocal 945 over 87 again i i already solved this dun sa ating mga work problems and dun sa ating pipe problems no kung nagugulhan pa rin kayo go ahead and watch that muna cancel natin nito x is equal to 945 divided by 80 7. Okay? Now, what you can do would be, you can actually divide that, no? Let me see if I can make some more space dito sa aking, ano, hindi pala pwede, okay? So, 945 divided by 87, again, you have 10 na right away, sa 870. 945. Ano, I just use trial and error, no? Just to um, let you see. This is times 10. Eh, ito palang kitang-kita ko na kasi, again, with with a lot of practice, no? May remainder ka na 75, eh, hindi naman siya abot sa 87. So, the answer is, uh, x is equal to 10 and uh, 75 over 87. Okay? Now, ito, hindi na, hindi naman natin pwede iwanan na ganyan. Pwede kasi siya in lowest terms. Divisible siya pareho sa 3. So, pwede siya maging, uh, so, divide natin siya sa 3 pareho. That is going to be 2, 5, 25 over, I have uh, 2 again, and then 9. So, 25 over 29. So, the answer is 10 hour, 10 and 25 over 29 hours. Alright? Ngayon, again, this is a long, uh, complicated na solution. Uh, but what you can think of, uh, of muna is that if napupuno niya ng walang butas ng 9 hours, syempre kung bubutasan mo, dapat mas marami kaysa sa 9. So, if you notice, the answer is really still higher than 9. Alright? So, again, a little more complicated than the usual. You just have to remember kung ano ba yung nilalagay doon sa formula and kung pwede mo nang ilagay yung numbers na given or kailangan mo pa mag-convert. Okay? So, I really hope you got that. If it takes you a few more times watching this, go ahead and do that. Kaya ako naman nilagay sa YouTube para you can watch it again and again until you finally understand it. Okay? So now, uh, let's move on to the next question. This was set, was set in by Gary Hilario. Sabi niya, Jose can wash two, ca two cars in uh, 12 hours. If one helps, it takes them six hours to do the same job. How long would it take one to wash a car alone? Again, uh, medyo may kakulangan yung question. Um, and uh, the reason is because uh, hindi din na clarify yung mga certain things. Kasi yung same job, ito yung problematic. Bakit? Kasi Jose can wash two, car two cars in 12 hours. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang hinugasan ni Jose ay two cars, okay? Tandaan nyo yun. And if, if one helps, it takes them six hours to do the same job. Pag sinabing same job, does it mean dalawang cars? Okay, two cars ba yan? Or one car lang? Hindi kasi sinabi sa problem, no? So, kung one car lang siya, it's going to be problematic kasi uh, ididivide mo ngayon ito. Pero kung two cars, it be two cars. Kaya lang, ang hinahanap is, how long will it take one to wash a car alone. Right? So, medyo, medyo komplikado, no? Um, but, um, you don't need to worry about it uh, too much naman. Uh, what you could do would be just uh, to find the rate naman na kailangan lang natin yung number na sa ilalim. Ang formula kasi natin for for uh, work problems, and again, you can click here naman to watch the series on work problems. I discussed a lot of those na doon. Uh, it's one over and then yung isa yung solo, tapos plus 1 over yung pangalawang person, x is equal to 1. Same actually doon sa pipe problem. Kaya lang in this case, hindi natin pwede ilagay right away na ganyan kasi hindi pa nakakonvert yung rate. Ngayon, here's what we need to under, we need to analyze. Yung 1 over a, that is yung kay Jose. Kaya lang, hindi naman isang car yung hinugasan niya. Eh. Ang hinugasan niya, dalawang car. So, ang tanong muna, kung two, if it takes Jose 12 hours to wash two cars, ilan yung matrik niya to wash one car? Ngayon, you can do, do it na sa utak lang natin kasi practical and common sense. Hindi siyempre 6 hours, right? So, di, 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 di divide mo siya sa 2. You can do it and just write here 1 over 6. Or actually, you can put 2 over 12. It doesn't really matter kasi 2 over 12 is equal to 1 over 6 pa rin. Okay? And then plus... And then, 1 over, dahil itong nawawala, which is how long would it would 1 take to wash the car alone, this becomes your x. 
and then you multiply it by a number right here. Now, dito napapasok yung assumption natin, okay? If you assume na they take 6 hours to clean 2 cars, okay? Which again, hindi kinarify rin sa question, no? If it takes them uh, 6 hours to, do, to wash 2 cars, ibig sabihin nun, to wash 1 car, pag nagtulong sila, it takes them just 3 hours. And then this becomes your formula. Again, this is kung 2 cars in 3, uh, in 6, sorry, in 6 hours. Pero kung one car lang, in 6 hours, pag nagtulong sila, then magbabago yung formula natin, magiging 1 over x, uh, 1 over 6, sorry, plus 1 over x times 6 equals 1. Okay? Now, I'm, I, uh, just with this problem, I'm leaning towards dalawang kotse, kasi same job. Eh, yung same job naman na pinag-usapan is Jose washing two cars. So, I'm going to solve this side na lang, kasi mas, mas preferred ko siya. Ang pagkakaintindi ko, if we're talking about the same job, ang job lang naman na mention is washing two cars, then we use this formula instead. Okay? Pero kung ang nakalagay dito is, if, if one helps, it takes them six hours to wash one car, then, or wash a car, then you use this formula. Okay? So again, be careful with your uh, reviewers, no? And the stuff that you uh, see on the internet. Um, sana complete yung, yung questions para lang mas madali itong mga ganitong klaseng sitwasyon mo. Kasi, mahirap mag-solve pag malabo yung tanong, di ba? Uh, parang sa relationship rin yan, eh, di ba? Mahirap sagutin yung ano ba kayo kung malabo. Dapat dinedefine. Okay? So, solve na natin to. So, we're going to do the same thing lang. 6 times x. Okay? Parang ginawa natin kanina sa actual numerical value. This becomes 6x. 6x divided by 6 is x. Plus, and then 6x divided by x is 6 times 1. That is also going to be 6. This is 3 equals 1. Okay, so next thing that we're going to do is just we're going to multiply everything na nasa taas. So, we have uh, 3 times x, which is going to give you 3x, plus, and then 6 times 3, which is 18, over 6x is equal to 1. Para i-move natin yung 6x sa kabilang side, we multiply natin both sides sa 6x. So, this, go, this is going to be cancelled. 3x plus 18 is equal to 6x. Okay, and then... I lilipat natin yung x doon sa kabilang side. Iiwanan na natin siya doon. So, 18 is equal to 6x minus 3x, which is going to give you 3x. Divide both sides by 3 para makancel yung 3. X, uh, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, x is equal to 6. So, the answer is 6 hours. If, again, dalawang kotse yung hinugasan nila in 6 hours. Okay? Now, if uh, iba yung option natin dito, iba rin yung magiging sagot. Let me just show you, okay, para lang makita ninyo yung difference, okay? Uh, paano kung one car in six hours yung hinugasan na lang both, okay? This is with both of them working. We're going to have a little bit of a difference right here. So, eto, hindi magbabago, 6x pa rin ang kanilang uh, least common denominator. So, this is going to be x plus 6 pa rin. Kaya lang times 6, hindi na times 3. So, this is going to be 1. 6x plus 36 over 6x, okay, is equal to 1, okay? Now, dito na tayo magkakaroon ng onting clue as to what the author intended to happen, no? Bakit? Kasi, if you notice right here, kung isusolve natin down, ito, 6x times uh, both of them, both sides, makakancel ito, this is going to be 6x plus 36, is equal to 6x. O, dito napapasok yun kung bakit hindi one car in 6 hours yung binigay. Ang same job is two, car, two cars talaga. Kasi, if you transfer this to the other side, 6x minus 6x is going to be 0, 36. So, hindi pwede. So, mali. So, definitely, two cars in 6 hours tayo. Alright. So, um, again, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of analysis. Um, you try nyo tagalugin yung tanong para mas maitindihan nyo siya. And be more comfortable with it through practice. Okay? So, that's the answer to that. Next, sabi ni, ito yung pinadala ni Pearl Diane Magro. Sabi niya, Jack can dig a ditch alone in five days while John alone can do it in, two, in eight days. The two of them started working together but after two days, Jack left the job. How many more days does John need to work to finish the job alone? Actually, I've been thinking if gagawa ako ng video lesson on this type of a word problem, yung may, may hihinto, may darating, may mawawala. Kaya lang, actually, it's a little more complicated than the usual. Ayoko kasi maglagay ng questions na hindi naman makakatulong 
or na baka masyadong mahirap, ma-discourage kayo. Um, but if you want me to make a video lesson on this type of word problem yung merong sasali, uh, let me know sa comments na lang, no? post na lang sa baba. Um, para malaman ko kung gagawa ako. Kasi kung marami may gusto, gagawa ako ng lesson, okay? Uh, this is actually still a work problem. It's still going to follow the formula, but it's a little more, it's a little different than the usual. Kasi nga, may, may two days as may umalis, okay? Now, what we know about the formula ng, ng work problem is we can fill it with the information here muna. So, Jack can dig a ditch alone in five days. This is Jack. Plus, yung kay John, which is eight days. Kung simple lang yung word problem, dito natin ilalagay yung x. Okay? And then, equals one. Kaya lang, may storya dito. Ang storya is, the two of them started working together. Okay? Pag together sila for two days. Ibig sabihin nun, dito natin ilalagay yung two. Bakit? Yung number, kasi dito nandito, which is sometimes ginagawa natin x, is the number of days that they work together, basically. Ang goal pa rin natin is maging one, mabuo yung one. Kaya lang, two days na sila nag-work together, so ito lang yung natapos nila. Okay? Within the two, two days. One-fifth of the job and one-eighth one of the job. Ngayon, how many more days does John need to work to finish the job alone? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Nung huminto sila na magtrabaho together after two days, nagtrabaho pa rin si, si John. Kaya may plus pa rin. Tanggal na si Jack kasi hindi na siya nag-work. So, meron ka na lang 1 over 8. And then, itong 1 over 8 na to, yung uh, trabaho ang ginagawa ni, ni John mag-isa, yun ang i-multiply natin sa x. Kasi yung x is the number of days na nagtrabaho si John alone. Okay? This becomes our formula. So, it's a little more complicated. But actually, again, we can still do this naman. Don't be afraid, no? Isa-isain lang natin siya. So, Ako, safe bet when it comes to this. Lagyan nyo ng parenthesis lahat para hindi kayo masyado maguluhan. It's just easier that way. Um, kasi kung meron kayong mga ganito efficient, tapos hindi nyo lagyan ng mga sobrang parenthesis, baka magkamali kayo sa kung anong uunain. No? So, dito muna tayo. LCD natin siya. 5 and 8. That is going to give you uh, 40. So, 40 divided by 5 is 8. Times 1 plus 5. Yan. Sinasolve ko lang siya, ha? Times 2. And then you have plus 1 over 8x or x minus, or x over 8. Okay? Um, and then this, is isosobla natin. Same thing as we did before. Okay? 8 plus 5 is 13 times 2. Kasi yun nasa ibaba. So, 26 over 40 plus, and then you have 1 over 8x or x over 8 is equal to 1. Okay? Now, with just this, you can start uh, making a few uh, a few changes na dun sa ating equation. First thing you can do would be smallest terms natin ito. Pwede siya pareho sa 4. So, uh, pwede siya pareho sa 2. So, that is 13 over 20. Okay? So, 13 over 20 plus x over 8 equals 1. With just this, actually, you can tra you can transfer this pag ganun. Ima-minus natin siya sa 1 kasi ang 1 naman is a number. So, x over 8 is equal to 1 1 minus 13 over 20. So, again, kaya nga importante for you to understand your fractions kasi magma-minus ka dito. So, 1, pwede natin gawing 20 over 20 minus 13 over 20. That is going to give you x over 8 is equal to 7 over 20. After that, what you could do para ma-cancel ma yung uh, 8 here in this side, you can multiply both sides by 8, maka-cancel ito. So, x is equal to 8 times 7. So, 8 times 7 is uh, 60, uh, 56. Okay? Um, you just put 56 over 20 here. And then that's your answer. So, x is equal to 2 and uh, 16 over 20. Or x is equal to 2 and 4 over 5 days. Okay? That is your answer. Bakit? Kasi again, ito yung formula natin. Yan. Sinolve lang natin down. The thing is, the more, complicated, the more complicated the question is, the more information you have to add to the equation and the longer your, op your operation is. But, actually, same naman yung tools na ginagamit. Kung, kung alam nyo na yung kailangan nyo gawin sa fractions, hindi na masyado siyang magiging problematic for you. Uh, you just need more practice, no? So, I hope that kind of answers the question for, for you guys, especially for you, Pearl, and I hope na kuha mo ito. Again, if you don't get it the first time, do it again and again. Uh, if you're not comfortable with your fractions, go ahead and balikan nyo siya. 
para mas maging confident kayo, maging mas mabilis kayo. May mga fractions worksheets din tayo sa website, so you can check those out as well. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like it to know kung meron mga upcoming live review events sa inyong lugar. Or if you want to join on the online review program or get one of the reviewers that I made. I would love to hear back from you. Thank you guys for watching. Aja, aja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.